No, we're going a long ways just to get some um, maple syrup. Maple syrup. The screen matches what we can see outside. So we're doing a little mini road trip, uh, him and I. So we're here in Perry Sound. It's looking pretty dicey here. So we've made it after how many hours? What time did we leave? Why is it hot on my own? Okay, we finally made it after a nine hour drive. We're here in the Metro. <laughs> Believe it or not, Metro here in the Sioux is where the uh, maple syrup is. So let's go in and get a bottle. Got it. Perfect. So he just went in, he just got his maple syrup. Yes, finally. You happy? I'm happy. We we knew what we wanted. We had a, a very oriented, driven task in mind and we drove and we got it. And now we can go home. So minor problem. Um, I'm pretty positive the speed here isn't 10. Uh, you can see where we are. Uh, it's definitely not 10. We were doing, it was 90 before and it went from 90 down to 10. So if I wasn't like vigilant vigilant and holding it down, the car behind me 100% would rear end me, would hit into me, so. It's still 10, eh? Yeah. Is there a speed sign coming up shortly to see if it'll uh... Hey, I'm technically doing 100 over the speed limit, <laughs> according to my car. <laughs> That's why it says, it's restricted to 20 over. Wait, am I not going to be in autopilot jail? Because I'm in autopilot and I'm 100 no, over the no. speed limit. You got to be over... 150. Oh, we're coming up to Moose. So we oh, saw... there they are. Oh, they're the horses. <laughs> You want oh, moose? I found you a moose. Oh, thanks, buddy. You found me a moose. Yeah. That's what the screen's for, right? Oh, we've been recording for the last 10 minutes, so hoping we'd see a moose. We're in, like, moose country with all the uh, warnings saying moose crossing, beware, and all that. So I've been recording, and I just stopped the recording, and then I just turned it on. I thought I saw a moose, but there were horses. Yeah, and I'm and like... Frank, I found one. Frank. I'm like, Dax, I found you a moose. He's there, like, looking, like, where are they? Where are they? Here, I found you one. Uh, you're welcome. You're Thumbs so, up. So smart. So this is Lake Superior. For anyone that hasn't been to Lake Superior, we haven't. This is our first time, Franklin, and I have ever been to Lake Superior. We've been to all the other four Great Lakes. This is the last remaining fifth Great Lake that we've never uh, ventured out to because it's so far. But this is Lake Superior, and you think it's big because it is big, and you look at this video, and you look out, and you try to look to the other end, and you can barely see the other end. This, and I'll overlay it in a shot, this is just a bay, a tiny bay, a little drop in the bucket compared to the actual size of Lake Superior. Drop in a bucket. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, drop yeah. in a bucket, I was laughing. <laughs> The things we do for a shot. There's this nice bridge here, and this nice, uh, it's, I think it's called the Goulet River. Um, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong and butchering the French <laughs> way of, of saying it, but I want to get a nice shot of this from the drone. Um, so we're going down here, parked beside the road, we're off. There's hydro wires there, as you can see, there's uh, hydro workers working there. So a lot of stuff that we have to contend with, but I think it might be better to launch a drone here than on the other side. We we're on the other side just now. And I think this is going to be better. Franklin's on his way down there. 
So, the things you do for a shot, sometimes. We got the shot, and like I always say, a successful drone flight is a flight where you get your drone back. <laughs> so we got it back, we didn't hit any hydro wires, didn't hit the bridge, and uh, couldn't get it high enough to get the actual uh, curvature of the, of the river, but I'll show you what it's supposed to look like. So this is Dak doing a video for his channel. Inception. Inception. So we're just stopped here at the side of the road and we're just about to take off and I just noticed this sign. Let's walk up to it and see what it says. It says, it's a picture of uh, a gas pump and a line through it. So it's no gas for 195 kilometers. And I think someone put that 195 because it looks like, it, I guess a gas station must have closed down. So they had to raise the distance. So 195 kilometers, that's almost 200, that's 120 miles no gas so the nearest gas station is this one right here i don't know if you can see where the yellow sign is says uh canop that's the nearest gas station or the last gas station for the next 120 miles almost so this guy must do a lot of good business <laughs> you talk about range anxiety and ev well you do have it with cars too with gas cars they just post it here because our society is so accustomed to gas stations everywhere where there isn't a gas station they've got to post it here okay we're hungry we need food we're not sure what to have. We're, we're in a city that we've never been in before. And we're here talking. We're like, what are we going to get? What are we going to get? Then we it came to us. We're going to let Tesla do the work. Hungry. Da, 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 da. Giovanni's Restaurant. Is that where we're going? <laughs> do you want to take two? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Let, uh, can, we, can we look at it online to see like... Should we? No. Tesla says it's good. Tesla says it's good. I don't know. I've never done this. Neither have I. I, I thought it was just one of the stupidest things that they could do. Up until this point? Until this point. So, yeah. Oh, there's a place called Wacky Wings. You want to do that? <laughs> you want to have Wacky Wings? You want to do Wacky Wings? It's up to you. I have to... Yeah, so let's try Wacky Wings. Uh -oh. <laughs> As we get into an accident. Okay, so that was a fail for Tesla. Okay. This may be one of the stupidest things we're going to do. All right, so... <laughs> the roundabout test didn't work. If you don't know what the roundabout test is, uh, Franklin ha was in the car, and uh, this is like a roundabout area where, but it has a stop sign up there. But it's a roundabout area. So now he tried to engage autopilot. He went around here like seven times. I got dizzy and sick, so I had to get out of the car. Anyways, he's now, and that was a fail. That was an autopilot fail. But now he's smart summing the car around this thing and I'm stuck in it. He's outside with his phone. The car is driving itself. He's driving it, but here in Canada when it's below seven degrees, which it clearly is now, it's only one degree here as you can see, uh, the speed on uh, Smart Summon goes down tremendously from like 10 kilometers. Now we're doing three kilometers. So <laughs> he's uh, doing a little video outside himself. And um, um, <laughs> he's following, you gotta see this. He's following the car <laughs> as he's talking. And um, I'm in the car, we're doing two kilometers an hour. We're coming to a stop. I don't know why we're slowing down so much. <laughs> what? There we go, watch, look. Is there somebody coming? Hi, Dax. Hi, Franklin. <laughs> 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 yeah, there, there's a person there. We're gonna make sure that there's no car come behind us. No. Otherwise, you know. Uh, and Dax, the trip's gonna end shortly because I'm at the end of my smart summon uh, range of where I can go. Oh, but then you could just start it again, right? I can, yeah. Whoa, whoa, steering wheel go crazy. <laughs> let's let's make it do the left. 
Okay. So I'm gonna reset it. We're gonna move it down it was here first. and go to target. All right. So now it's gonna <laughs> fly down through the stop sign. Whoa, hopefully. whoa, whoa! Where is it going? There's a curb. Believe okay. to achieve. Believe so, to achieve. Through the stop sign it goes. Watch this. Uh, this is foolishness. Does it stop? No, it doesn't Does stop. It Full self-driving beta fail. We're, we're following the speed limit before. So, but, as we're driving, let me just show you the beautiful sunset of Sault Ste. Marie. We're near the border uh, of uh, Michigan. This is, this is so, any Michigan friend. friends out there, this is as close as we can come to see saying hi to you guys. Welcome to all my Michigan friends on just on the other side of the river there. And we're off. <laughs> Break whoa! Speaking of break, I was about to say breakneck speeds. It stopped there, like a breakneck speed. We're doing three kilometers an hour tops. So it is time to leave. Let me just zoom out and show you. That is the uh, water tower in. We're leaving early in the morning here. It's about seven thirty in the morning. Time to leave, I'm going home, we had a fun trip. So we've made it home uh, safe and sound. 1,500 kilometers round trip, right? Which is about just under a thousand miles yeah. round trip. Safe and sound. We're just unpacking, and uh, we got to do this again, Franklin. This was fun. This was fun. Yeah.